from the James Lesser's Express Lane Fantasy Football Tips. With fantasy football coming closer and closer, you might need to know, who do you draft that quarterback? Obviously, the top five would be Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Matt Ryan, Big Ben, Drew Brees. But if you don't get the chance to draft them, who would you draft after? That's what I'm here to tell you. Number five, Alex Smith. He gets a lot of crap for why, I don't know. He doesn't throw interceptions. I don't know about you, but well, my quarterback threw three touchdowns and five interceptions. Yeah, that, that's not going to help your fantasy football team. But if you have a quarterback who only throws two touchdowns, but zero interceptions, and then he goes and runs one in like Alex Smith likes to do, that's a lot more useful. Yeah, he's only going to be, you know, 23 of 27 for 220 yards, but it's going to be zero interceptions. And that will help you out a lot more than a guy who throws three touchdowns and five interceptions. And, of course, moving away from the run game by losing Jamal Charles, they got to move more towards the passing game. So I see him actually throwing a little bit more this year than he did last year. So if you have the chance and you miss out on the big five, He's the guy to look at. Number four, Sam Bradford. Again, last year was a career year, and he missed a game. He had the most yards, touchdowns, all that in his season career, and he missed a game. This year, without missing any games, having another year under his belt with this team, team dropping Major and Peterson, moving more towards passing, I can't see him going anywhere but up, up, up. So, again, if you miss on the big five, and he's there, take a shot. Very well worth it. And then, staying in the NFC North, number three, Matthew Stafford. Yeah, he lost Megatron, but I think he actually got a little bit better. Because before it was, what's the gameplay? Throw the ball to Megatron and hope he catches it. He has five guys on him. Throw the ball to Megatron, hope he catches it. Once Megatron retired, he actually had to change it up a bit. He had to throw it to other people. And boy, does he throw the ball. Yes, this leads to a few more interceptions, but he puts up a lot more yards and a lot more touchdowns through the air. And the run game, they keep trying to improve it, try to keep the defense honest. So, hey, they had to put an extra man in the box every now and then. That means another guy's going to be open. So, miss on the big five. Matthew Stafford's there. Give him a look. Number two. Surprise, surprise for a lot of people. I'm going to have to say, Philip Rivers. Yes, he's a lot older than he used to be, but he still throws the ball. They got a pretty good running back to try to keep the defense honest. And so, especially at this stage of his career, he's able to go, huh, I know we're about to call a run play, but they have like nine guys in the box. I'm going to do an audible. We're going to throw the ball. Some of the younger quarterbacks may not be willing to do that. They might see nine guys in the box, or they may not even see that. The two folks and all right, it's a run play, to the right, hike. Oh, and it went negative two yards because I didn't recognize nine men in the box. That's one of the things that made Peyton Manning such a great quarterback because he could recognize that and go, nope, we're completely changing the play. Phil Rivers may not be as good as Peyton Manning, but he's good enough to recognize that kind of defense and change the play when he needs to and then throw the ball, which he does very well still. But, moving away from Phillip Rivers and the AFC West, we'll stay in the West with the NFC West, Russell Wilson. In the air or on the ground, he will get you points. Which is why, if you miss out on the Big Five, take a look at him. Yeah, they only have beast mode to keep the defense honest, but he'll run it if he sees, oh, no one's open. And a rushing touchdown is six, passing touchdown is four in most leagues. So hey, you have a rushing quarterback like that, grab him. Now some others like Cam Newton, Jameis Winston. Cam Newton, when he's on point, no, he's a good pickup, but like past what? Ever since the Super Bowl, he's just not been on point. He's just gone downhill completely, which is sad to see. Gotta go from the Super Bowl to, yay, I scored a touchdown in my first five games. Terrible. But Again, if you miss on the big five, 
check out those five that I mentioned. And as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.